I, 35 female, am expecting my first child with my fiancé, 47 male, and my ex-husband, 34 male, is losing his mind over it. My ex and I married fairly young. We were each other's only partner and just simply outgrew each other. We divorced in 2016, and one year later I started dating my current partner. The only reason my ex and I are still in contact is because of our dog. We had two dogs when we were married, and during the initial separation, he took one and I took the other. He couldn't take care of the dog he took and gave her to his parents without asking me about it. I would have taken her, and then regretted it, and threw a fit about not being able to see the other dog. It ended up going to court as part of the divorce proceedings, and now I have to take the dog to see him one weekend a month. If you hadn't guessed by now, his being a man-child was part of the reason we divorced. I always wanted kids, he didn't, and he was way too immature and emotionally stunted to have kids with anyway. My current partner also always wanted kids, but was widowed young and didn't date again for almost 10 years after his wife died, he'd been widowed for 15 years when we met. We started trying for a baby after getting engaged in December, and ended up getting pregnant pretty much right away, and our baby is due in November. I intentionally didn't mention this to my ex. I use social media very rarely, and we have chosen not to announce on social media until after the baby is born. On Saturday we met up for the scheduled dog visit, which was the first time he'd seen me in a month. Because I'm fairly tall, it took a long time to actually look pregnant, and now I do, 25 weeks. When I saw him, he lost his mind. He went on this tirade about how this was evidence that I was cheating on him, and how I never really loved him at all, because I let the first person who came along knock me up. I was like, okay, wow, I am not engaging in this conversation. I'm only here to let you see the dog, bye. So I left, and since then, he's used various masked phone numbers and sock puppet accounts to harass and threaten me. I keep blocking them as they come up, but I am stressed and don't know what to do about it. We have generally had a cordial relationship before, but now I'm like what on earth? I should just say screw this dude, and to hell with the stupid court ordered dog visitation and never speak to him again, right? Edit. Because I'm too lazy to keep answering the same question, it's not altogether uncommon to have ownership slash visitation of a dog included in divorce proceedings. The statute, or whatever it falls under, was more designed for things like beach houses or boats or whatever. But when both parties can't decide between themselves where the dog should live, or one party causes trouble about where the dog should live, the judge can make a call on what happens to keep things simple and usually civil. I'm talking to the lawyer about modifying the divorce decree. I know it's not going to stop anyone, but the comments about my current relationship are getting a little ridiculous, as are the ones about the dog custody agreement or whatever you want to call it. You know literally nothing about my current relationship and trying to make weird judgment calls about it just makes you look stupid, as does being hung up on the dog aspect of the story. Now for the top advice. I would keep a record of everything he says and does. If it's legal in your state, record all visits with the dog. If he keeps it up, take him back to court over the dog, and have his custody removed for your own safety. She should also see a lawyer and get a restraining order against the ex. Report it to the police that he's been hostile and harassing you non-stop, and you don't feel safe bringing the dog to him. Then you cover your butt a little bit, and maybe the officers can give you some helpful advice. Stay safe. Agreed. And OP should make it very clear that the threatening behavior started when he found out she was pregnant. If the police have even two brain cells to rub together, that should ring alarm bells. Not sure where in the world you are. Do not violate the court order. Get a restraining order as he is harassing you. Save every text. Document every number he calls you from and get a lawyer. Play up the pregnant and scared of your ex. In fact, be scared of your ex. I'm not saying he would hurt you, but it has happened before. Don't let the dog be alone with him either, since he could hurt the dog to hurt you. If you have to take the dog for these meetups, don't violate the court order, request an escort slash custody monitor. You may also be able to request police presence if you fear for your safety. Now for the next story. My, 25 female, husband, 28 male, said something disgusting to me. I can't stop thinking about it. I've been in the bath for a long time because I've been dreading going to bed with him. A few hours ago, I was lying in bed feeding our baby. My husband was begging me to come do something with him. I tried to tell him just to wait a few moments. He kept glaring at me and telling me to hurry up. I just gave birth a couple months ago and my husband has been so jealous of his own son. I could see he was starting to lose his patience, and I told him, 
Honey, I have to take care of him before you, you know that. And what he said back really stunned me. He looked me right in the eyes and said, if you love him so much, why don't you suck his member instead of mine? I couldn't say anything, I didn't know what to say. And then he stormed out of our bedroom. I don't even know what to make of this. What should I do? It just bothers me so deeply, it's going to be hard for me to forgive. I really don't have many other complaints about my husband. Most days, things are great with him, but that just made sick to my stomach. Am I just being sensitive? Maybe I'm just emotional, but I feel like crying. Now for the top advice. Jesus Christ. What he said really was sickening. Has he had emotional outbursts like these before, or is it a recent phenomenon? Is family slash couples therapy an option? I would be fine with therapy, but I don't think he'd ever go. Is it fair to say that he's not the type to admit that there is a problem, and as such is? Yes, and he would see therapy as someone telling him they know better than he does. That's messed up. He sounds like an immature child. Once you have a child, everything changes. The kids come first always. Hell honestly, for that, I'd go spend a few days with family, and stay out of the house. Prioritizing your kids together does not mean loving your kids less. I do not understand why people think that. An example, if you and your child need clothes or shoes at the same time, you buy them for them first. If you're both hungry, you prepare them food first. Etc etc. But there is a difference between need to have slash necessities and nice to have slash luxury items. We'll add more edits as people comment. A part of me really wants to leave tonight and stay in a hotel. I don't want to see him, touch him, talk to him, anything right now. Please consider it. Especially if this is out of character, you don't know what else he could say, or potentially do to you or your child if he's so jealous. He has to know that this is not okay. Now for the last story. Updated, I, 23 female, am days away from giving birth, and my, 37 male, boyfriend just decided to tell me that he can't be at the birth, because he's married. Original post. So first off I know the age gap probably should have been a red flag, but I was stupid. We've been together for two years but he lives in a different city. When I got pregnant, he said he was going to move to my city and we would move in together, he just needed to finalize some things with his ex-wife. He told me he was divorced when we met, and I never had any reason to question it. I knew that he had two kids with her as well, he told me the truth about that, just not that he wasn't divorced, or even separated. So fast forward, I'm 39 weeks and he suddenly got uncommunicative, which is less than ideal when you're literally about to give birth. Bear in mind, that he was supposed to have been fully moved in here a month ago, blame COVID. Today, I found out I am going to be induced on Monday unless baby decides to come out over the weekend. So, I contacted him and I was like, okay, what's going on? And that's when he told me that he isn't actually separated or divorced, he never told his wife about anything, and now he felt like he was backed into a corner. I don't feel sorry for him for that, because that's his own fault, but obviously, literally 4 days before giving birth isn't the time you want to get this news, and I have no idea what to do now. Tell him to screw off obviously, but what else? I feel like, I mean, I can take care of the baby, but I was preparing to have a partner to take care of it with me, you know? I don't even know what I'm asking for in terms of advice, but any advice for moving forward and handling this is appreciated. Now for the top advice before the updates. OP, lawyer here. Do not take it upon yourself to tell his wife or start anything that might be later deemed drama. Yes, I'm aware it's easy for me to say this laying here on my couch compared to what you're going through. Find a family lawyer immediately upon returning from the hospital. Do exactly as they say. Good luck in this horrible situation. This is absolutely awful, does his wife know about this? You have your baby, you give that baby your last name and you get yourself lawyer. Absolutely give your baby your last name. I have my mom's maiden name. Nothing wrong with that. Sounds like suing for child support is a good idea. I would gut his butt. Save those messages girl. And make sure you follow through. The only reason he's doing this now, is because he thinks he can get away with screwing you over and live his best normal life. I sincerely hope you make sure that never happens. Make have him pay child support and make sure he's never in your life again. Also listen to the lawyers here. You'll be stronger for this. Edit, thank you all. It seems like getting legal help is priority number one. I'm just in shock right now. 
like I almost feel numb, but I really appreciate everyone here for your help. I was really happy and looking forward to baby, and I just feel really sad right now, so I need to take a breather. Everything is ready for the baby and I'm still excited to meet them, but Jesus. Edit 2, in addition to all kinds of weird comments, I'm getting all kinds of weird PMs, so I think I need to just take a deep breath, walk away, mindlessly binge watch something stupid for a while, and cry my face off tonight. I called around to a few family lawyers in my area, and the advice I got from posting here has been absolutely brilliant, but I'm running out of the sass slash steam to deal with anything else that's happening here, so I'm just going to check out. I'm going to leave the legal business to the lawyers, pray that he didn't give me false information, and I can actually find him, and try to remember how much I was looking forward to being a mom before all of this happened. I don't really care if people think it's fake or whatever, because I gain exactly nothing, aside from the advice that I needed, from making this post, and I gain exactly nothing from arguing. To everyone who shared their stories with me, thank you. Thank you so much. You feel like the dumbest freaking person in the world when this happens to you. And knowing it happens to people all the time, is a weird comfort, even when you wouldn't wish it on anybody. I don't think of myself as a trashy or generally stupid person, just a person who is blinded by love and naivety, and has learned a really hard lesson a really hard way. I doubt anything of monumental concern will happen between now and my Monday induction, but once baby is here, I will try to come back and let people know what's happening. Update. First things first, I had my healthy baby girl on Monday evening. We were discharged shortly after birth due to COVID, so I have been just trying to adjust to everything. Her birth was a dream and I never want to do it again, lol. Second, I talked to his wife for over an hour yesterday. I guess he decided to tell her. She wasn't mad at me, thank God. She'd had her suspicions but was trying to trust her husband, which I understand. She was so nice honestly, and even though she isn't angry at me, I still feel bad because she's such a nice lady. She wanted to make sure I was doing okay, and that I didn't need anything, which made me cry because postpartum hormones are whack. She's getting a divorce from him, good for her to be honest. We are planning to meet up, and talk crap about him once the virus is over. I have a lawyer, and will establish custody and child support legally ASAP. He hasn't bothered to contact me at all, but I don't particularly care. I didn't want to leave anyone hanging, even though it's not a huge update. Thank you to everyone who checked in. It means a lot. Edit, I'm all set with everything the baby needs. With things being as they are, consider donating to a local diaper slash formula bank. Save your money for awards on this post too, and put it toward that. Help babies and mamas who don't have the resources I do. Now for the closing comments. The wife sounds like an amazing and understanding human being. Hopefully you have been gifted with an amazing friend after this, if anything. I really hope OP and the wife form a friendship and can be there for each other. It's wonderful that his wife places the blame squarely where it belongs. On her husband. And is reaching out to OP that's the kind of compassion and love we need in this sorry world. Edit, of course she's not obligated to do so or anything. Jesus, I was just saying it was a lovely thing to hear. Everyone can stop blowing up my inbox with insults now. Find something else to be mad about. So glad you're doing okay and the birth went well. That's also awesome the wife and you have become friends, and she's kicking him to the curb. It sounds like he's getting what he deserves. Good luck on your future with your new baby girl. I have a friend who was married to a cheater. She eventually befriended the mistress, who became wife number two. Then he cheated on number two and they got divorced. When he married the new mistress, friend and number two came as each other's dates and danced the whole night, laughing. The point is, this too shall pass. Keep your head up and try to be kind to each other, because your baby has half siblings she may want to know someday. Good luck. Also, screw that guy. That's hilarious, but who invites their ex-wives to the next wedding? And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the